I think we all took a moment over the last couple weeks when we saw the violent killing in Buffalo, and then again children massacred with the, with the teach with two teachers in Uvalde, Texas, and we stepped back to to just thank the Lord for the safety of our own families. I have to say the First Lady and I had many sleepless nights. Um, we went to work immediately, and I brought together our Secretary of Public Safety, our Secretary of Education, our Secretary of Health and Human Resources, and our senior cabinet team, our senior administrative team, and we said, what can we do today? The reality is there's gonna be a lot of politics around this from both ends. And politics is not the way right now for us to make progress on things that we can do in the same bipartisan way that we just demonstrated. And that's why the first thing that we did was make sure that local school boards and local law enforcement were collaborating and communicating immediately. So that if some, God forbid, copycat uh, criminal decided to try to replicate this, we would be prepared. The second thing that I am so focused on is making sure that the budget money that is now in this bill, and I went to find this on Sunday night, that there is sufficient money in this budget bill to fund school resource officers across the Commonwealth. Hugely important. I've been focused on this for the entire campaign season in our first four and a half months in office. And the third thing that we have already, we have already passed and agreed to is that safety audits would be required for every school every year and they would be formulated in cooperation with law enforcement. And we need to get to work right now on these things that we have already agreed on. There's a chance for us to move forward quickly. School resource officers in schools, safety audits in, co in collaboration with law enforcement, more cooperation between school leadership and, lo and local law enforcement just to make sure that they're prepared. Our job is to make sure that when a parent puts their child on a school bus or drops them off at school, that they come home at the end of the day just as safe as they were when they dropped them off. That's our priority. That's what we're working on. And I have to tell you, there is no greater priority right now in this government than for us to press forward with those things that we know we can do today that have been supported on a bipartisan basis to make our schools safe.